Here at Wake Forest in the Head and Neck Tumor Program, we treat a variety of both benign and cancerous tumors, beginning in the mouth, uh, tongue and jaw, uh, the throat, uh, including the tonsil and tongue base, as well as the larynx or voice box. In addition, we treat patients with benign and cancerous tumors of their thyroid, of the salivary glands, as well as advanced skin cancers. Uh, these tumors are uh, treated with both surgical and non-surgical techniques. We use the Da Vinci surgical robot to perform transoral robotic surgery. This is a device that was developed uh, for abdominal surgeries and is more typically used in uh, prostate or gynecologic surgery, for example. Few centers initially began using this to treat tumors of the mouth and throat and found this to be very effective, and we've adopted that strategy. The uh, device has a camera in a central arm that's inserted into the mouth. On either side of the camera are two miniaturized robotic arms that flank the camera and actually manipulate the tumor and perform the cutting in the throat. These arms are controlled by the surgeon who sits at a console uh, that is located several feet away and the console has joysticks that the surgeon controls at which the robotic device mimics exactly the motions of the surgeon's hand and wrist. When the camera is placed uh, an inch and a half or two inches away from the tumor, the visualization and magnification that's provided are superb. You can really delineate the line between where tumor begins and normal tissue ends very clearly, and this allows for very safe and precise uh, removal of the tumor in tight quarters um, of the mouth and throat that we weren't able to remove tumors from previously. The device really offers a lot of advantages over uh, other techniques for removing tumors through the mouth and especially over our older traditional uh, techniques involving the disfiguring incisions on the face and neck. Our patients that have undergone transoral robotic surgery are enrolled in a research project whereby we're not only looking at the oncologic outcomes as far as whether they remain cancer-free at a year, two years, five years, uh, but also how quickly they recover function. We're interested in quality of life outcomes, uh, particularly in respect to swallowing function, uh, speech, amount of blood loss during surgery, length of hospital stay, uh, return to work, amount of pain medicine used, etc. What we're ultimately trying to do is to compare uh, two modalities, for example, initiating therapy with surgery versus initiating therapy with radiation. If they have similar oncologic outcomes, ultimately the treatment choice will depend on how their quality of life outcomes are long term.